All right. Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? Good. How are you, Professor? Good, good. How are you doing, Danny? It's been a long, uh, <laughs> long time. Yeah. Uh, it's been a pretty uh, restful summer. How was your summer? It was good. Yeah, yeah. Mine, mine was, uh, mine was good too. Um, you know, slowly kind of getting, um, resuming life, I guess. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. But also still trying to be careful because it's still, you know, still yes. kind of a thing. So, um, but yeah, excited to be back. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, looking forward to a good semester. <coughs> so I'm gonna get some water, I'll be back.
All right, welcome everybody. You know, some people are still coming in, but uh, welcome. Uh, it's the fall semester, EGME 401. So, so we'll get started at about uh, one o'clock today. Hi everybody, welcome. Okay, we're gonna get started in about three minutes, but uh, but thank you guys for coming. 
This is uh, EGME 401. I think this is blocking it a little bit. All right, it's one o'clock, so let's go ahead and get started today. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, EGME 401, Engineering Economics and Professionalism for Fall uh, 2021. Uh, so we got a big class because it's uh, virtual. So it's it's really uh, really nice to see everyone's names on the Zoom list uh, once again. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, um, it's, I think it's our third semester now doing, uh, or I guess third and a half semester doing virtual stuff. And it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I guess we're used to it, but it's, uh, you know, I think it will be uh, still, a little bit strange in, in, in a sense, right? Uh, okay, um, so today today's just the first class. And so uh, for today, um, oh, uh, my name is Professor Justin Tram. I, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um, and so today, you know, for the first class, um, you know, uh, first of all, you know, we're gonna go over the syllabus because I think that's, that's always important to do on the first day. Um, and the other things that I, I usually like to do on the first day is I like to give an introduction to the course. Um, and so I think you know a, a lot of at least at least in my experience when I took a lot of classes uh, when I was in college I think first day we kind of just you know a lot of the, a lot of professors just kind of start, start lecturing uh, on the material um, but I think you know with that it, it it's a uh, uh, you know I, I think on on a couple ways like on the first day you don't really feel like doing any real work uh, and so you know I, I know everyone's still kind of getting back into it especially after a long summer break. Uh, but I think it's important to to you know talk about what can you kind of generally expect from this class in in general. Um, and I think that's really important because otherwise you know um, it's hard to really get your bearings throughout this entire course. Um, and especially for this one in particular, this this is kind of a not a strange course, but I think it's 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 a bit different than what you would normally take from uh, you know from other classes in engineering. And so I really want to make sure that you know everyone kind of has a good sense of where we want to go with this class and what role this class kind of plays in your um, in your engineering education. Okay. Um, all right. And so, uh, but I think for the first you know 15, 20 minutes, I, I do want to go over the syllabus, um, uh, and then you know, and then after that, we'll jump into an activity. Actually, so kind of right off the bat, we have kind of a a game that I like to play on the first day of this class, right? But before we before we get started with anything, uh, are there any questions that I can answer uh, before we get started? 
All right. Um, and so, you know, um, I, I know everyone's kind of used, probably used to the virtual learning at this point, but, you know, if you have any questions at any point, you can just put it in the chat. You know, I, I can uh, look at the chat and read the questions off there. Uh, or if you feel comfortable, you can turn on your microphone too um, and ask your question from there as well. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Uh, okay. So this is the syllabus. And so, you know, usually, usually I, I have it be a little bit nicer than just showing you just the, uh, the syllabus here, but um, you know, I, I want to, I kind of just want to go through this a little bit quickly, just so we can get to our, our game later. Right. Okay. So the title for this class is EGME 401, uh, Engineering Economics and Professionalism. Okay. Uh, that's my name, Professor Justin Tran. Um, you know, in terms of what you can call me, whatever feels most comfortable to you, I, I think it's, it's fine with me. So you can call me Professor, you can call me Justin, um, you can call me Dr. Tran, you know, whatever feels comfortable. Um, I put this, I put this out there every semester, but no one's, but no one's taken up, taken it up on me yet. But, uh, but you can also call me something like Dick Face if you want. Um, and so I'm, I, I just, so I just turned 30. And so, you know, I grew up in the era of online video games. So I've, I've been called all sorts of manners of, of things. And, you know, I've had 12 year old kids tell me about all the great things they did to my mom last night too. So, you know, I, it, nothing, nothing really phases me anymore. So you can call me whatever you want. And, you know, as long as it's comfortable for you, it's comfortable for me. Okay. That's usually my policy with these things. Right. Uh, so my office is in the CS building. Um, I know for this class, it doesn't really matter because we were virtual, but, uh, but if you want to come by, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm not there today, so obviously I'm in my apartment. We're still wearing my pajamas, but that's where I'll normally be. Okay, and uh, here are my office hours. Okay, and so I have three um, three main office hours where I'll be available. And so I have Monday mornings from nine to ten, uh, Tuesdays two thirty to three thirty, and so that's that's basically right after this lecture. And then Wednesdays from one to two. Okay, and so when I when I set my office hours, I, I try to always space them out, and so you know try just to try to make at least one time work for uh, um, work for everybody, but. I know that's that's never the case, you know, especially with how busy you guys are. So, you know, if you if you want to talk and none of these none of these times work for you, just let me know. Um, you know, I, I'm always happy to take um, office hours either after after hours or you know in the in the mornings or you know whatever time works for you. Um, you know, I've I've met students at like eight or ten p.m. Um, in the past too, just because you just because they're working all day. Okay. All right, and so our class times, you know, every obviously everyone knows that because you're all here, and so it's Tuesdays and Thursdays from one to two fifteen, and it's going to be virtual over Zoom. Okay. All right, so what is this class all about? And so, um, you know, the title for this class is Engineering Economics and Professionalism, and I think a lot of people kind of read that and kind of think that you know this is kind of weird, right? It's it's not really um, exactly what you would expect from like an engineering course, uh, but it's important. And so, you know, if I had to sum this kind of um, sum this up. Um, in kind of a, a short uh, a short speech, what I would say is that this class teaches you about a lot of the other the other stuff that you need to know uh, to succeed as a professional engineer that's not taught in like more one of your more technical classes. Okay, um, and so you know I probably a lot of you you're you're probably two three four years into your engineering education you're probably used to taking a lot of really science and math heavy courses. Okay. So this is not going to be one of them. And so for this class, we're going to be learning. It's it's almost like a business class. You can you can kind of think of it like that. Okay. And the main reason we're taking and the main reason you know we're having you take this course is that, you know, engineering is is a business. You know, it's uh, you know as as romantic as we like to make it sometimes about you know creating new technologies. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of engineering projects they either you know have to make a company money. Um, or they have to minimize costs if it's like some kind of government project, okay? And so the money and the finances are a real concern, okay? Uh, and so if you want to be successful as an engineer, you have to really understand these factors um, so that you don't, you know, you don't bankrupt your company or, or bankrupt, you know, the government or, or whatever, okay? Um, that's not to say that you have to be a complete expert, okay? And so I'm not, you know, um, I'm, we're having you guys take this course not to be um, you know, not to be the next, you know, um, you know, savvy business person, Mark Cuban, you know, Shark Tank guy, right? But it's, it's just to kind of get um, just a kind of an understanding of how these things work, okay? Because um, the reality is, you know, a lot of engineering projects, they take, they take a long time, right? So they're, they're usually long term projects that take over the course of months or years sometimes, right? And, they, and, and economics change over those times. Um, and so you need to be aware of, you know, how these costs, how costs evolve and how to budget for things, because that's, those are real, um, those are real skills that you're going to need in, in an engineering company. Okay. And so that, I'd say that's probably going to take up the, the first two thirds of the class, which is the economics portion. The second, um, the second part of the class is more um, ethics. And so um, ethics is basically just making sure that, you know, the engineering projects that you, that you undertake, 
you know, they have more consequences than, um, you know, than a lot of people realize, you know, whether this be on society, whether it be on people, people's safety, be it on the environment, you know, we have a, a whole new slew of like technological ethics that we have to take, um, keep in mind now. So, you know, for the last one third of the class, you know, that's what we're going to be talking about is, um, you know, how, how to consider ethics in your engineering um, projects. Okay. And that's obviously, you know, another really important thing, you know, not only just as, you know, as, as a, you know, a decent human in society to make sure that, you know, you're not hurting people, but um, also it has real um, benefits for the company too, because no one likes, no one likes getting sued, right? No one likes bad PR. And so, you know, if you have a, if you have a good understanding of ethics, then you can avoid those things for your company uh, and for yourself too, which is usually a good thing, right? So usually not getting sued is usually a good uh, goal for, uh, for most people. Okay. Uh, all right. So any, any questions so far? PR, yeah, PR, PR just stands for public relations. Yeah, it's uh, just how the public perceives your, your company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, um, and so let's talk uh, learning objectives. And so learning objectives, um, you know, you'll see, you'll see me use these quite a bit in the class. Uh, and learning objectives are basically just my way of telling you, you know, what I plan um, or what you guys should be able to do after this course or after certain lectures, okay? And so I won't go too deep into them because I, I do want to get to the activity, but um, you know, you can definitely read these um, and you know, by the end of the course, you should be able to do all four of these things, okay? All right, so let's talk uh, deliverables now. And so there's going to be, I've planned seven homework assignments, uh, two midterm exams and one final project. And so those, that's, that's a summary of everything you're going you're to turn into me throughout the course of the semester, okay? Uh, the midterm exams won't be cumulative. And so I think each exam will cover about maybe about five weeks of content, right? Um, and then the final project will be uh, based on the ethics, okay? All right, and so here's all the dates that I have planned. Uh, I think someone mentioned there might be a typo in one of these. Let me just double check that all of these are actually Thursdays. Okay. Yep, so September 30th is a Thursday, November 4th, also a Thursday. Okay, all right, so I think these, I think these dates are correct, but, uh, um, but you know, um, but they aren't set in stone. And so these are the dates that I have planned, but, you know, I, I always, um, you know, I always like to consider, you know, if you guys are having a busy week or something, then I'm always open to, to pushing these back, okay? Um, and so the final project, uh, a big part of it is going to be a final presentation. And so that's going to take place throughout the entire last week of, co of the course. And so that's December 7th and 9th. Okay. And then the final report will be due on Monday, December 20th. Okay. And so this is the Monday after finals week. And so, um, you know, usually for the final projects, I, I try to give you guys as much time as, as, you, um, as you need. And so that's why I have this due kind of after finals week. Um, but this is kind of the very last day that I can make it due because, you know, I have to grade these before Christmas. Um, and, you know, between your class and all my other classes, you know, I have to, you know, I have to have time to grade everything. And so this is kind of the last day that I'll have it due and, and to give me enough time. Okay. All right. And so here's how the course grades are going to break down. So we have um, basically 15% for the homework assignments, 15% uh, for the midterms. Um, there's going to be a portion for in-class discussion. And so this, um, this, um, has to do with the ethics portion of the class, okay? And so when, when we get to the ethics portion, we're going to have some discussions that you're going to have to participate in in class, okay? Um, and that's going to be worth 10%. And then the final project would, would be worth uh, 45%, okay? And then once all the grades are in, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I put in all your grades for these, then, you know, I'll assign a letter grade according to this breakdown. So I think this is, this is fairly standard right here, okay? Okay. Um, but even with the final grades here, you know, I, um, you know, I try to be flexible. And so, um, you know, if you're, if you're kind of near the border at the end of the semester, then, you know, I'm, I, I take certain, I take things into account and, you know, we can talk about it and see, you know, if there's anything you can do to, to bump up your grade. Okay. And so I, I am flexible, but, you know, this is kind of my, my starting point for, for assigning the final grades. Okay. So I don't do curving, but I, I do do um, uh, what I call scaling, which is I just kind of add just the flat amount of points to uh, you're great if I if I feel like you you deserve it. Okay. Um, okay. Textbooks. So there's no required textbooks, um, and so I, I usually you know I always do this for all my classes because um, you know I think the textbook industry is run by the mafia, and textbooks are expensive as fuck, and so I think uh, you know um, there's no reason why you guys should buy the textbooks when I can provide you you know with all the information that you need. Okay. And so I'm going to be posting all my notes, all my lecture notes for this class um, and all the homeworks I'm going to be writing myself. And so there's really um, no, re no, pr no practical reason why you would need the textbook in this class. 
Um, but it is a good reference, okay? And so um, you know, if you want to learn about these topics from um, more in depth from what I'm covering in the class, you know, of course you can read the textbooks for those, uh, but they're not gonna be strictly required, okay? And so I'm not gonna assign any reading, I'm not gonna assign any problems from here. Um, it's really just, if you wanna pick up the textbook, it's really just as a reference for, for you guys, okay? All right, so the course website. And so uh, course website is gonna be on Canvas. And so I think, you know, everyone um, is, is pretty used to it, okay? Uh, and my my thing with Canvas is that you know whenever whenever I create any content for the class, whether it be you know assignments, lecture notes, study guides, solutions, any of that stuff, all that's going straight onto Canvas. So make sure you're checking Canvas on a regular basis. You know, at the very least, at the beginning of the week, because I, I post I post um, all the material for the upcoming week um, on Friday. And so if you check it, you know, over the weekend or Monday, then it'll be there for you. Okay. Um, and I know a lot of you have noticed the Discord server as well, and so so thank you guys for joining. Okay, and so since this class is going to be meeting virtually, you know we're not going to have a, an in uh, an in person component where we can you know interact with our classmates. And so uh, the Discord is something that I, I started trying a couple semesters ago, and and you know I, I really like it. I think it's kind of a nice uh, nice thing, and I'm uh, and I'm really thankful that you know for this class, I know a lot of you guys have been active on it so far. Uh, so thank you for that. Okay. And so if you haven't joined the Discord server, I would recommend that you do so. There's a link for that on the course website, okay? Um, and then once you join the Discord server, just drop a quick introduction to you for yourself in the introduction channel. Um, and then if you go on there right now, you can see that there's um, there's other channels there too, okay? So here's the introductions. So you can see people are writing their introductions, okay? There's a thread, there's a channel for questions. And so if you have questions on the homework, you can ask them here, okay? And I even have a, a, a channel for memes too. And so one thing that started last semester and in a few of my classes was that students were making memes of me, um, you know, for every, uh, um, almost after every lecture, making fun of my handwriting, making fun of the way I, I say things. And so, uh, and so I love it. And so, you know, I, I, I don't take those things too seriously. And so, you know, if you think it's funny, you know, I think uh, go ahead and, and share it. But of course, you know, be respectful. Of course, you know, don't, uh, um, you know, don't know, uh, no disrespectful stuff. But, you know, if it's if it's a joke made in good, uh, in good faith, then, you know, I, I always love those things. Uh, and I share them with my friends, too. And my friends always love to, uh, to laugh along with them, too. So, and so make that Discord server yours, you know, it's, it's, it's there for you guys to uh, communicate with each other and to, um, you know, and to interact with. So um, definitely make it make it good. Okay. Um, and so another thing too with, with Discord is that, you know, you, you can direct, so, you know, this Discord, um, you know, what, what you see here, that's that's my real Discord thing. It, it's my it's my personal one. And so um, you can you can message me directly on Discord. Um, and so I'll, I'll allow that, but but please, but please try to save it for just, for just emergency situations, okay? And so last semester, you know, it, it kind of got a little bit out of hand where people were kind of messaging me for all kinds of, all kinds of things, um, you know, over Discord. You know, especially at, at kind of inopportune times of the day um, to help them with homework and stuff like that. And so um, I think I, I need to kind of, you know, put a little bit of a limit on that this semester just so it doesn't it doesn't get out of hand. So if you have a question about the, the homeworks and stuff, I would I would definitely um, encourage you guys to share that, you know, publicly on the questions channel in the in the discord here. Because um, what would happen a lot was that people would ask me questions individually and then, um, you know, but then like 10 different people would ask me almost the same thing. And so if you ask that in the question server, then um, that everyone can have, would, can benefit from the answer. Um, it'll cut down on some of the spam that I get um, as well. Okay. Uh, but of course, you know, if you if you have a matter that, that you would like to keep private, then, um, you know, email is always a great option for that. And so um, you can email me, but uh, but try but try not to direct message me on Discord too much unless unless it's a uh, unless it's an emergency. Okay. Uh, okay. So any questions on on this so far? Okay. All right. And so course policies and so um, homeworks. I do accept late homeworks, um, but every day that it's late, I have to dock ten percent. Okay. Um, and so that's just to encourage you guys to kind of stay on top of that stuff. But uh, I know that, you know, it's, it's, you know, things happen during the semester and it's, it's, it's hard to kind of stay on top of all the deadlines. And so I want to give you guys some flexibility. Um, so that's just not, it's not just like, you know, get into the deadline or, or nothing. Okay. And so I have to take off some points, but, you know, if you're, if you're late by a day or two, you know, please still do it and please still turn it in because, you know, you can still get most of the points from, from that. Okay. 
All right, so at the end of the semester, the lowest homework will be dropped. Um, and again, you know, I, I know that things happen during the semester and, and you know, it's hard to kind of uh, turn in every single homework assignment. So, you know, I want to be flexible with this, okay? And so, um, you know, your lowest homework will be automatically dropped from the uh, from Canvas. Uh, but even so, you know, I still encourage you guys to, to do all the homework assignments because, you know, the, the practice that you get from the homework assignments is um, pretty crucial, okay? Um, and so the only exception to this is going to be the very last homework assignment, uh, homework six, uh, which is going to be a writing assignment. And so um, that that's not eligible to be dropped because that's uh, that's something that I want everyone to do. Okay. All right. So exam. So there's no plans for the midterm. There's no plans for makeup. So please make sure to be present on those days. Um, if you have if you have something where you can't make the exam date, you know, please let me know as soon as possible so that we can arrange something. Okay. Um, usually it's better to let me know before than, than after. And, you know, if you can let me know a week before, then we can arrange, you know, a different time for you to take the exam. Okay. All right. Regrades. Uh, you can request regrades because I, I make mistakes um, just like anyone. I make them all the time. Right. And so, um, you know, if you, if I make a mistake in grading your homeworks or the exams, um, definitely let me know. And I'm always happy to, uh, you know, to, to get that um, back to you. Okay. Uh, emails. Um, you know, when you're emailing me, uh, it would help me a lot if you put EGME 401 in the, in the subject line, okay? Because uh, I'm teaching four different courses this semester and I have a lot of students. And so if I know what class that you're asking me about, it really helps me kind of um, narrow in and, and, you know, and help you out uh, sooner rather than later, okay? All right. Uh, academic dishonesty. And so this is, this is you know, um, an uncomfortable part, you know, I, I don't I don't like talking about this every semester, but you know it 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 kind of happens all the time, and so I have to do it. So, um, academic dishonesty will not be tolerated. Okay, and so if you commit any kind of academic dishonesty, um, you know, um, at the very least you're going to get a zero on that assignment. But if it happens on something like an exam, or the uh, or one of the projects, um, or the writing assignments, then you know it's it's um, it's going to result in an F for the course. Okay, um, and so I know I know it's a harsh punishment, but it's but it kind of it's it's kind of what, what it's kind of a necessary evil for these kinds of things, okay? Because um, with these courses, you know, my my goal for these courses is not it's, it's never to give you guys a hard time. You know, um, maybe some of you had me before, and you might be disagreeing with me, but um, you know, I'm, I'm not here to kind of judge you or to you know to, to judge who's good and who's good enough to be an engineer, right? Um, I remember when I was a student, a lot of a lot of professors gave me that sense where like they weren't really there to help me; they were just there to judge whether I was good enough for them or not, right? And so I, I, I don't see myself like that, right? I see myself as, as someone that's here to help you everyone succeed and help everyone, you know, take something positive away from this course, right? Because, you know, the reason you're, the reason you, you guys are taking these courses is, is to gain skills and to gain knowledge that's going to help you uh, become a successful professional engineer, okay? And my goal is to, is to get you closer to that, okay? And so, you know, First and foremost, my, my goal is always going to be here to support your learning. It's going to be to, um, you know, um, encourage you guys to be, you know, an advocate for you guys. And so, you know, if you if you're cheating, basically, then you're going to you're you're not getting that opportunity. Okay? And so, you know, what I ask of you guys is that if you're if you ever feel like you're struggling in the course and you feel like you would you, you kind of need to cheat to kind of catch up, um, please talk to me first. OK. Uh, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to criticize you. You know, I promise you that. You know, I'm 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 just here to try to help you out as, as much as I can. Okay. And so I, I've had people come up to me, you know, you know, hours before the exam and say, "Hey, professor, you know, it's it's not a good time for me. You know, something's happened in my life, and you know, I I'm, I'm not prepared for this exam." And I've I've accommodated that, right? And so I've I've said, "Okay, you know, let's just take just take some time for yourself, and you know, let's let's take the exam on a later date." Okay. Um, and that's that's totally fine. I would I would much much prefer that than than finding out that you cheat than finding out that you cheated on the exam. Okay, because um, then you know because um, once you cheat, you know there's there's nothing I can do. Then there's there's very we have very strict policies for that in the department. But you know if you tell me that you're struggling, then there's there's a lot that I can do to help you. And the only thing I ask is that you give me that that opportunity. Okay. All right, um, and so I think that's everything that I want to cover for the syllabus. Okay, so here's the schedule, but you know this doesn't really mean much right now because you know a lot of these students you probably don't um, really know. Okay, and so are there any any questions on anything in the syllabus before we jump into the activity? Okay. All right, and so um, now we're going to do an activity, and so that was kind of the boring part of today, and so now we're going to get into the fun part. Okay. 
And so, you know, like I mentioned earlier on that, you know, this class is, is about kind of the business side of engineering. OK, and a lot of the, the business side is about, you know, making sure you purchase all the materials and all the parts that you need to run your engineering project and you do it in the most cost effective manner. OK, and so for this activity, I'm going to split you guys into groups. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, I'm uh, it's going to be kind of random. And so the way it's going to work is I'm going to split you guys into a breakout room um, and you're going to be assigned a team number and the team number is going to be one through nine. OK. And then once you're split off into your groups, I'm going to give you a, um, a, um, a design specification, okay? And so the de design specification is going to look like this, okay? So this is just a sample, and so this doesn't belong to anyone, okay? But all of them kind of look the same here, okay? And so your goal with this, uh, with this, pro with this um, activity is to build a robot, okay? Um, but, you know, you're not going to be doing any of the technical stuff of the robot. You're just going to be buying the parts, okay? And so every every team is going to get a kind of a, a sheet like this that kind of describes what your robot is about. And so you know at the end this is just kind of flavor text that I just kind of came up with. And so it's not not that important. But then um, you know what what is important is this. And so you know your robot has certain part requirements. Okay. And so every robot you need to buy these four parts. And so you need to buy a chassis for your robot. You need to buy a motor. You need to buy wheels, and you need to buy electronics. Okay. And what you'll see is that your robot has certain requirements for, you know, um, for what kinds of chassis motor and wheels is going to be. Okay. And so all the different levels here, it can be levels one through four. Okay. And so the way this game is going to work is that each of the teams are basically going to take turns. And so we're going to start with team one, and then we're going to go all the way to team nine. And you're going to take turns purchasing parts from the, from the store right here. Okay. So this is maybe McMaster car, or maybe this is a, uh, um, you know, like the engineering superstore down, down the road. Okay. And so um, let's, and so let's say it's turn one. Okay. And so let's say that in, uh, and so let's say team one is going to need a level one chassis. Okay. And you can see that the chassis here needs to be level, uh, at least level one. Okay. And so on turn one, um, team one is going to say, you know, we want a level one chassis. Okay. And so that's going to cost $75. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to keep track of your own budget here and you're going to subtract 75 from your budget. Okay. And then once that once they select that chassis, one of them is going to be gone. Okay. And so it's going to be off the board. Okay. And so that's what these tally marks underneath the uh, underneath the prices mean. Okay. And so that means that there's only two level one chassis that are available. Okay. And so um, a lot of this game is, is kind of like, you know, trying to buy your parts at kind of the most opportune times because, you know, you're going to be buying parts, but all the eight other teams are going to be buying parts at the same time. Okay. And so let's say that you need a level one chassis, but you wait until later in the game to buy it. You know, it might, it might so happen that um, two other teams have already bought the level one chassis and it's no longer going to be available. Okay. And so if that happens and if, you know, the level one is no longer available, then you have to buy the more expensive one, which is level two. Okay, so the level two will work, right? And so that's what this uh, that that's what the specification means. And so that means that you know the chassis has to be at least level one, um, but you know it's going to be more expensive to buy the level two one. Okay, and so you want to keep that in mind as you're buying your your parts. Okay, and so besides the four main components, each of the each of the uh, robots also have a special component um, that they that they um, that they need to purchase as well. Okay. Uh, not all of them do, but but most of them have a special component. Okay, and so your special um, component is uh, is something that you can purchase anytime. Um, and this is and since this is a specialized part, you never have to worry about this running out. Okay. All right. And so the other thing that you know, and the other thing about this class that I want you guys to to understand is that you know all engineering projects always are constrained. Okay, they're either constrained by money, okay, by your budget, but they're also constrained by time. Okay. And so there are so uh, in addition to the parts that you have to buy, you have to purchase some parts before a certain turn. Okay. Um, and so you know um, for this for this particular robot, you can see that the motor has to be purchased before turn four. Okay. And the special the special part has to also be purchased before turn four, and all parts have to be purchased before turn seven. Okay. Um, all right. Um, and so, you know, your goal, you know, as, as a group, your goal is going to be to try to uh, make sure that you, you buy all the parts that you need for your robot without going over budget, okay? Um, and if you go over budget, you know, it's, it's not that big a deal. You know, I'm not grading any of this. And so if you, if you go like, you know, $1,000 over budget, it's, it's not that bad, but, you know, and so this, 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 this game here is just to kind of um, just illustrate, 
you know, what this class is about. Because I think, you know, a lot of times, um, unless, unless you've managed an engineering project before, I think this is a side of engineering that a lot of people haven't really considered before, right? Like you have to actually purchase the parts and the parts might not be there, right? And the prices and all the prices really matter, okay? Um, okay, so any questions before I, uh, I start to split you guys up? Okay, all right, and so I'm gonna split you guys up. And so I'm gonna create uh, breakout rooms. And so let's say nine breakout rooms. And I'm gonna um, give you guys a PDF that that has your um, that has your team uh, that has your your specifications, okay? And so in your breakout rooms, I'm gonna give you about ten minutes to kind of you know meet meet the people in your group and also to read over the specifications, okay? And then after those ten minutes, I'm gonna bring everyone back and then we're gonna start the game, okay? All right, makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so you should be uh, given a breakout room. So go ahead and go into the breakout room. Um, and then I'll I will go ahead and meet meet your meet your teammates and then I will uh, give you guys the specs. Okay. Professor, did you yep. share a link for Dropbox? Yes, I, I broadcasted it in the chat, and so the it should be in the uh, in the chat for the uh, for everyone. But um, I'll give it to you guys here as well too. Yeah. Yeah, because we couldn't access through the breakout room. Oh, okay. Uh, let me let me let me join some of the breakout. I'll join each individual one, and I'll, I'll give the link. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Um, did you guys get the Did you guys get the the link for the uh, um, for the Dropbox? We saw it, but we cannot copy it or click on it. Okay, here, let me, uh, oh, everyone's asking for help. This does not go the way I thought. It's can, you guys, uh, can you guys click that one, the one I just sent right now? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna join everyone and, and give everyone the link. I realized that the link wasn't clickable. And so let me uh, let me give you guys the link. No, no worries. Right. Thank so I'm, you. Gonna go, I'm gonna go to each of the breakout rooms. Hey everybody, I, I realized the, the link wasn't clickable. And so I'm gonna give you guys the link here, okay? And so please um, so, and so please download the one that's for your group, which is group two, okay? Okay, thank you. Sounds good. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Hey guys, I, I realized the, uh, the link wasn't clickable. And so let me give you guys the link here, okay? And so uh, download the, the one for group three and then uh, we'll meet back in the, in the main room in about um, eight minutes. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. Uh, sorry about that. I, I realized the uh, the link wasn't clickable, and so let me give you guys the the link here. Yeah, we were we were just talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I, I did I, when I when I broadcast the message, I thought it'd be clickable, but uh, but I guess not. So yeah, there's the link, and then right. we'll meet back in about uh, in about eight minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I, I realized that the link I sent you wasn't clickable, and so let me give you guys the the Dropbox link. Okay. Thank and you. so, uh, um, and so, download the one for Team Six, and then I'll meet you guys back in the breakout in the main room in about eight minutes. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, sorry about that. I, I realized that the um, that the link I sent you wasn't clickable, and so let me give you guys the link again here. Okay. okay. And so download, hey. yep, download the one for Team Seven, and I'll meet you back in the main room like in about seven minutes. Sounds good. Hey, hold on. Someone's asking for it right now. Hey guys, yeah, hey, uh, I, I realized that the, the link I sent you wasn't clickable. And so let me give you the, the clickable link. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. And so I download the one for team eight and I'll meet you guys back in the main room in about um, seven minutes. All right, thank you. Yep. More than two times a week. Hey guys, uh, I realized that the link I sent you wasn't clickable. And so let me give you, oh, Hutton, did you, did you get the link? I, yeah, I got it and shared okay. it with them. The group now great, PDF. great. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you one, one more time. And then, um, yeah, so I'll meet you guys back in the main room in about uh, seven minutes. All right, sounds good. Sure.
um, professor. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be like calling on us one by one? Yes. Yeah. And so we're going to go, okay. we're going to go snake style. And so we're going to go team one through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then second round is going to be nine, eight, seven, six, but I'll, I'll, I'll be calling on you guys. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey guys, did you uh, had a question? Yeah, I was wondering if we, if you had the uh, the breakdown of all the prices, or is that just going to be different? So it's for... it's it's going to uh, it's going to change, and so um, okay. 
And so, you know, the what you see at first, it's, it's going to be dynamic, but but I have it right now so that, you know, your budget and the prices that are there, you you have enough budget for it, but but just be aware that things are going to change. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back everyone. Hopefully you uh, got to meet your team and you have a, a good strategy <laughs> going forward. Okay. All right, so we'll wait for uh, everyone to come back. You have 75 bucks. <laughs> All right, looks like everyone's back. All right, and so uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and start the game. And so I'm gonna start with team one, and then we're gonna go all the way to team nine, and then for the second round, you know, I'm gonna go nine to one, just so it's just just so it's kind of fair. Okay, we're gonna do this kind of snake draft style. Okay, and so I, I I forgot to mention before that you know the prices that you see here they're not static, and so what can happen sometimes that the prices they might change, and so just kind of be just kind of be aware of that. Okay, um, and you know. Um, you know, just uh, also, you know, I also want to say that, you know, this is this is just a game. And so, you know, don't don't take it that seriously. OK. Um, and so, you know, it's 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 more just as introduction activity. And so, you know, I'm, I'm not keeping track of who wins or who loses or things like that. So it's 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 just this is just for fun. OK. All right. And so we do have to go a little bit fast because it's uh, you know, I want to make sure that we have enough time for everyone. And so let's start with uh, team one. And so team one, uh, what would you like to purchase on your first turn? Uh, we're going to do level four electronics. Level four electronics. All right. So now there's two of those left. Okay. All right. Team two, what do you, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, we're going to do the motor level one. Motor level one. Got right. it. All right. Team three. We'll do the electronics level two. Electronics level two. Okay. All right. Uh, team four. We'll do uh, wheels level three. Wheels level three, got it, okay. All right, team five. Motor level three. Motor level three, okay. All right, team six. Uh, we're gonna do the level three chassis. Level three chassis, okay. All right, team seven. Can we get the level two electronics? Level two electronics, you got it, oops. Okay, team, uh, team eight. I uh, will do level four electronics. Level four electronics, okay. And team nine. Uh, get the level one motor. Level one motor, okay. So level one motor is out, All right? So no more motors, okay. All right, and so that concludes the first round. And so the second round, we're gonna um, go from team nine down, um, but you know, something's gonna happen here and so uh, since quite a few teams bought electronics, and so the supply for the electronics is going to be, it's a little bit low. And so we're going to increase the price of some of these electronics that have only one left. And so instead of 125, it's going to go up to 150. Okay. And instead of 1050, this is going to be 1200. Okay. All right. So, uh, and so we're going to start from the back this time. And so team nine, uh, what would you like to do this turn? We have electronics uh, level one. Electronics yeah. level one. Okay. All right. And so team eight. Uh, we'll do our special. All right. So team eight's going to purchase their special. Okay. All right. So team seven. Level one chassis. Level one chassis. Okay. All right. Team six. We're going to do level four electronics. 
level four electronics, right? So level four electronics is done. Okay. All right. So team five. Level two electronics. Level two electronics, that is done. Okay. Right, team four. Uh, we'll do a level three chassis. Level three chassis, okay. All right, team three. Uh, can we do level four chassis? Level four chassis, you got it. Team two. We'll do a level one chassis. Level one chassis, okay. So that one's done. And team one. Uh, we'll do level two motor. Level two motor, you got it. Okay. All right, so that concludes turn two. So now we're gonna move on to turn three, okay? And so at the beginning of this round, what I'm gonna say is that, um, you know, there's, there's some parts here that have been kind of overstocked for a while and the store needs to get rid of them. And so every, every part here that has three left, the price is gonna be cut, okay? So that's gonna go down to 150. This one's going to go down to 120. Okay, and the wheels are going to go, level one wheels are going to go down to 30 bucks. Okay, and so we're going to start with team one again. And so team one, uh, what would you like to purchase? We'll purchase our special. All right, team one's going to get their special, right? Team two? Uh, we'll purchase the wheels at level one. Level one wheels, okay. Take advantage of that sale, All right? Team three. We'll get the special. Team three gets their special, okay? Team four? Um, we'll get our special. Okay, team four is gonna get their special, right? Team five? Level two chassis. Level two chassis, right? Say 50 bucks. All right, team six? We are gonna take our special. Team six will take their special, okay? Team seven? Level one wheel. Level one wheel, all right? Team eight. Uh, level two chassis. Level two chassis, okay. And team nine. Uh, we'll take our special. Team nine takes their special, okay. All right, looking good. All right, uh, turn four. All right, and so this, and so in this round, let's say that, um, you know, the chassis are, are a little bit, um, a lot of people bought chassis um, at this point, and so let's increase the prices, okay. Chassis level two will up to 200 bucks. This is going to go up to 850. And then level four, this is going to go up to, let's say, 1200. All right. So, team nine, you guys are on the clock. Would you guys like to, uh, what would you guys like to buy? Uh, wheels level two. Wheels level two. Okay. All right. Team eight. Uh, also do wheels level two. Okay. Team seven. The level two motor. Level two motor. All right, team six. Level three wheels. Level three wheels. Okay, so level three wheels are done. Okay, team seven. The specialty. All right, team seven. Oh, wait, am I going in the wrong direction? I think it's team way, five. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. So what uh sorry, so we did uh two, I get six, a six. discount. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to be team team five, team five. Uh level two wheels. Level two wheels, okay. All right, and then now we need team four. Uh we'll do level three uh motor. Level three motor, okay. Team three. Uh can we go for the level one wheels? Level one wheels, okay. Team two. Uh, let's go for the level three electronics. Okay, level three electronics. Okay, and team one. Uh, level two chassis. Level two chassis, okay. All right, and so that's the fourth turn. So we're making we're making good time actually. Okay, so okay, turn five. What do we got here? Okay, 
And so turn five, we can see that uh, a lot of the premium parts here, they've, uh, um, we still have a lot of stock on these. And so let's do a discount on these ones. Okay, so this is gonna go back down to a thousand. We'll discount this one to 1250. And then the level four wheels, let's discount this to, let's say 700. Okay, uh, team one, you guys are back on the clock. What would you guys like to buy? Uh, we'll have to do level four wheels. Level four wheels, okay. All right, team two. Uh, we're pretty much complete. Okay, team two is done. All right, team three. Level two motor. Level two motor, okay. Team four. Uh, what what if there's no parts that we can buy anymore? Um, you you um, is there a more expensive version of the part that you that you want, or, or are you just done buying all your parts? Uh, we need one more part that's expensive, but it's no longer in stock. Um, so you can you can you can, you can buy a more expensive version. It's just it's just going to be over budget, but but that's that's okay. Oh, I meant uh, a premium part is no longer available. We have to settle for a less premium one. Oh, okay, that's 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 fine too. You can buy you can buy the cheaper one. Okay, uh, we'll go for electronics uh, level three. Okay. All right, team five. Special, and we're done. All right, team five gets their special, and they're done. Okay, team six. Uh, we're gonna get the level three motor. Level three motor. Okay. All right, team seven. The special. Team seven gets their special. Okay. Team eight. Uh, level four motor. Level four motor. Okay. And team nine. I guess we'll get the level three chassis. Level three chassis. Okay. All right. All right. So who's, who still needs to buy? Uh, are there teams out there that still need to buy parts? All right. I'll go, I'll go one more round. I think, I think some, I think some teams might have to go to turn six. Um, although actually we have one left on each one but I'll, I'll just go through all the teams just to make sure that you guys got everything okay all right uh team nine do you guys need to buy any more parts nope we got everything all right team eight team eight are you guys good oh so, sorry we got all of our parts okay good all right team seven we're good okay six you guys are good Oh, yes. Sorry. Okay, cool. All right, team five. We're done. We're fine. All right, four. We're good. Three. Uh, we're done, but is it possible for us to uh, upgrade ours, like our uh, motor? Um, no. So you, you, uh, there's no, there's no sellbacks. Unfortunately, oh, okay. I did not. I did not account for that when I was thinking of this game. <laughs> maybe I'll make All a right. more. Maybe I'll make a more advanced version for uh for for later. Um, but yeah, this is this is kind of how it is right now. Right? Oh, all right, we're done then. Okay, team two. I think you guys were done. All right, team one. You guys are done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, good job, everybody. And so um, we actually have enough. We have a good amount of time to debrief too. Um, and so uh, maybe maybe you guys read um, other teams what because I put it all in the same Dropbox link. And so last, so I'll, I'll tell you, so last year when I played this, I kind of sent each team their PDF kind of individually and it took way too much time and we kind of had to speed run the entire game. And so this time we actually have a good amount of time left. And so I don't know if you, if you had a chance to read other people's specs. And so, um, but I think now this will be kind of a good time. And so let's start with team one. And so team one, um, if you guys can describe um, just a little bit, just a little bit of a description of what robot you were trying to build. Um, and just how you did. So whether you got all the parts that you needed, whether you had to buy some that were either over-specified or under-specified and, and what your budget was like. Right, yeah, so, go ahead, so, team, team one. so we have a Postmates delivery robot, pretty much just uh, make customers or give customers the opportunity to purchase and have their food delivered. Um, we had to buy pretty much level two on our chassis, motor, wheels, and we had to buy level four electronics. And then we had a special GPS navigation which costed 750. Um, our budget was 2,500, and uh, the last thing we bought was the wheels, which we had to go above and get a level four, which put us about 500 dollars over budget. Okay. Um, yeah. 
All right, great. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, so if you guys are over budget, you know, it's it's, it's totally fine. Things happen. It happens in, in in engineering projects, and so it's it's um, you know not that bad a thing. All right, uh, team two. Uh, what was your guys's What was your guys's project? So we basically had to build a autonomous robot um, that can navigate around like the classroom without colliding into any, anything. Um, so basically, for the motor. Uh, we bought it at level one, which was, that's what we were supposed to do. We bought it for $100. Um, the electronics um, kind of put us over budget. We bought it at level three. We we're only supposed to buy it at level two. Um, so that put us about 480 over budget. And then the chassis, um, we bought it for 75, which was supposed to be a level one, which was good. And then the wheels were one also, which was $30. Um, so we were like 480 over budget. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, team three, what about you guys? We're the mining transport robot with a budget of $5,000. And uh, the, our special was 1200 so give us a 3800 budget. So we got um, electronics level two, which is 125 Chassis level four, with, which is 1000 Mechanism, 1200 A wheel, which is 30 and a motor for 300 And we were actually under budget. And we had a thousand one hundred forty-five left over. Wow, nice. That's great. Yeah, that's uh, um, yeah. You guys did really, really good then. Um, all right, team four. How would you guys? Team four, are you guys there? Uh, our team had to make like a rover for Elon Musk's lunar mission, and we were able to get most of our required parts except for the electronics at level four. And our budget was around like uh, 4,500. And for the part that we were able to get like perfectly was that would be chassis, motor, wheels, and our special, but we couldn't get um, our electronics perfectly. And we were under, uh, oh. Uh, okay. We yeah, had we about really $600 left. Oh, the electronics was, uh, was level three and not level four. Right, right. Yeah, that's, I, I think that's, that's pretty common. And so, yeah, when, when, you, when you have a certain specification, but then if you, if you don't meet it, then you buy the, the cheaper part. And so, uh, yeah, but that's okay. I mean, those, those things happen. I mean, in reality, you know, um, you, you try to get the part that you need, but, you know, sometimes you kind of have to make do with what you, what you have. But, uh, but yeah, great job. Um, all right, team five, how about you guys? Uh, we were supposed to make a battle bot with a budget of 2000. Uh, most of our parts were at least level two. We started with getting our motor, which had to be a higher level. Uh, we ended up uh, with a, we ended up under budget with 130. Nice, great, great. Um, all right, uh, team six, how about you guys? Uh, so we were constructing a military robot meant for like safety scouts. All of our, so our budget was 5,000 and all of our parts were above level three. So they were more pricey. And then our special was bulletproof armor, which cost 1500. So our budget was 3,500, but we were able to do everything. And we got every part we needed with uh, 200 left over. Nice. Nice. You guys did good. Great job. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, team seven. How about you guys? So we're making a, a vacuum bot. And our budget was 450. And the only thing we overspent on was the motor, which was level two, which cost us, which made us go over budget by 130. Okay. Yeah, yeah. good job. You guys did it. You guys did great on that too. Um, all right, team eight. Uh, we were making a Grubhub delivery robot. And as far as budget, we went over by $320. And that came from having to get a level four motor towards the end there. Okay, great. Yeah, good job, guys. Um, all right, and finally, uh, team nine, how about you guys? Uh, so at the beginning, we were doing fine. Uh, and we had that like turnaround turn or whatever. Um, so we bought two things in a row. So unfortunately, we bought the electronics right after the price went up, which kind of sucked. And then on that same turn, all of the level one chassis were bought. And we didn't think to just buy the next level chassis. So we bought all of our other stuff. So um, we were making an educational robot. So all of our stuff was basically level one, except for the wheels, which need to be level two. And we got everything at a pretty good price. We even got the wheels at a discount. But uh, I guess we decided to slap a dirt bike engine on it. So uh, we bought the $850 engine instead of 75, which is what it was supposed to be. 
I mean, uh, the chassis we bought was supposed to be 75. I don't know why I said motor. But yeah, so we had an original price of 400 for our budget, and uh, we came in $795 over budget. So um, I don't know if tripling the budget exactly is an option, but... It, it, hap- it happens sometimes. It's uh, those, those things happen. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. But yeah, it was, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, I, I think that hopefully that gave you a little bit of a flavor of what this class is going to be about. And so, you know, normally for, I think a lot of your other engineering classes, you would learn the details of how to actually build the robot. Uh, but as you can see, you know, even before then there's, there's a lot of things to consider of, you know, how much, how much budget are we going to have? You know, are the parts going to be available? Are they going to go up or go down in price? Right. And so that's, that's, that's what we're going to do in this class. And so, um, you know, um, a lot of these decisions are, are decisions that, you know, are usually made by engineering managers. And so, um, you know, and I know for a lot of people, that's, that's kind of what they aspire to be. And, you know, in, in addition to the technical skills, you know, you need to know how to manage budget, manage time, manage resources, right? And so that's what a lot of this, this class is going to be about, okay? And so on Thursday, you know, when we pick this up again, um, we're going to start learning. We're going to start with kind of the very basics of the basics of, of economics, um, just because I know, I know probably, um, at least for me, you know, when I, when I, when they first told me to teach this class, you know, I had to kind of learn a lot of that from, from scratch too. And so, you know, we're going to start with kind of the basics and then we're going to work our way up to, uh, to a lot of ideas that, I, that will be really um, useful for, for interesting projects. Okay. All right. And so um, we actually ended it quite a bit early today. And so, um, and so I'm not going to keep you guys anymore. And so thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, you know, we'll pick this up again on Thursday. And so uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon and I'll, I'll see you then. Thank you, Professor. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you, Thanks, Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Oh, hi, Tyler. Uh, professor. Yeah, what's up? I have a quick question because mm-hmm. uh, I'm waitlisted. Mm-hmm. Uh, so would you say I just stick around until like for like two weeks and see how it goes if I would get added or not? Yeah, so we'll 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 see until next week. And uh, so usually usually I make those decisions after the first week because because people kind of move around after after the first week. Right. Um, I I don't want to add too many people from the waitlist just because um, I can already see my workload this semester is going to be a lot. So so normally you know I I try my best to add as many students as, as possible because um, especially for a required class like this because it's uh, you know I know you guys need this to graduate but. Um, but I probably at this point, I'm probably feeling like maybe like two or three people from the waitlist because the enrollment is already at 40, which is which is really high for, for a class like this. Yeah. And so something like 42, 43 is probably the limit of what I feel comfortable with. And so um, if you're like two or three on the on the waitlist, you know, by next week, I'd say I'd say you're good. But um, but there is but there is another section of 401 being taught this semester. I, I know it's at kind of a really late time, but. Um, you know, we do want to balance the enrollment between those those two sections if possible. Right. Yeah. Uh, would it be okay, like, if I didn't make it into class, I can just sit in your class just to take notes anyway? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and this, this is really, uh, um, you know, I'll be recording everything and putting it on YouTube, too. And so there will be there will be that as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, Professor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think someone else asked about the wait list. So, um, yeah, so that's that's kind of my my thing on, on the waitlist right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, professor, it's me again. I don't know if you remember. I was yeah, in hey. class. Yeah. yeah. Hey, where you go? How, how's it going? <laughs> it's good. How about you? Good. Good. Yeah, good. I, I just wanted to tell you. I don't know if a lot of the students were having the same problem. Like every once in a while, your mic did cut off. I just okay. want to inform you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I got your message. Yeah, I I, I actually yeah. forgot. So I I, I do have a, a mic, but I I actually forgot to connect it because it's uh um. Just because I'm I'm an idiot, and so um, oh, definitely yeah. I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll connect it for next time. But yeah. thanks, yeah, thanks oh, for letting me know. Did you move? By the way, it looks like um, you're in a different area. Yes, yes, I did. So oh, okay. <laughs> um, I moved um, end of twenty. So actually, right after our fall semester last uh-huh. year, I, I moved to a new apartment. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, thank you. Yeah, just mm-hmm. to inform you. All right. Yep. Yeah.